have a, a go at making this card. I'll say we'll have a go. <laughs> um, as I say, don't just think of it as printing an image out and sticking it on. This one has been triple embossed, so it looks like a ceramic plate and normally this is just a thought of as like when you do rubber stamping and you emboss it but you know use your, your images yeah. you know as well you don't have to just stick to the norm all i've done is is uh, printed out one of the images and i've actually you need to put it onto something substantial to give it a bit of you know weight behind it because you're going to be heating it up it'll all curl okay. so all i'm going to do is just cut this out I'm going to leave a tab because it gets so hot that you really need something to hang on to and it stops it blowing, blowing around as well. So I'm just going to quickly cut this out. Do we need to instruct the cameraman to anchor themselves to the floor? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm just going to leave myself a little tab. That's just a... a a hint of you know to make life easier because once you put that down to emboss it it's going to blow everywhere so <laughs> and if you try and hold your finger there you're burnt okay so we just need to pop some uh, clear oh look i've gone and brought a dirty one that doesn't help does it um some clear versa mark um this just helps the but you can give it that um um, verdigris kind of look, like yeah. adding a, a yeah, tint of green. Yeah, that's right. You can you? you can chalk and everything first of all, or you could colour it in with glitter pens yeah. before beforehand. As I say, you know, use everything you have in your um, box because we all have so many things. Okay, I've got some of the um, embossing powder here. This is the extra thick stuff. Just pop it on. Embossing is one of my favourites. I know, there? it's great, isn't it? I'm just going to move that out of the way because it'll blow everywhere. Mind you, I'm, I'm quite keen on that foiling yeah. now as well. That's yes, I, I think so. I've, I've recently discovered foiling. That's why I'm raving about it, you know. With this, um, because it's such big crystals, start off high with your, with your um, heat gun and gradually go in. Otherwise, it can blow away. And you just start to see it turning. There you go. Yeah, whoever invented this. I know, it's brilliant. So clever, isn't it? It is clever. Does it need to take long to dry? It, it dries, and as soon as you take the heat off, it will be dry. I'm just going to put another layer on that. While it's still hot, if you dip it back in, it's uh, it will stick on. That gives it that uh, glass-like yeah. finish, doesn't it? Okay, you really need to spend a bit more time on that, but because we haven't got much time, I'll I'll leave it at that. Okay. Okay, then all I'm going to do is just cut this little tab off. As I say, it dries pretty quickly, but it can stay hot for quite a while, so mind your fingers. <laughs> okay. Right, I've got a, another one here, which so that you, it, the, you know it's got a back on it as well. I'm going to just attach the two and pop a piece of... Um, no, I'm just going to do it like that, I think. I'm going to pop the bit of string in between as well. It does change well. as you go along, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it does. Um, I'm going to pop the bit of string in as well, so you need to, you know, obviously I'm going to need something to hang it with. Do you still get time for card making? I, well, I do. I, yes, I do, because the trouble is everybody expects you to make them a card now, you know, so you, you can't really get away from it. If I've ever had to buy a card, you know, people are like, oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm not your favourite anymore, <laughs> <No>. then. <laughs> no. But uh, because I'm designing most of the time, it does get hard. Okay, so we've got the, the shiny one on one side, and just so if it spins in the thing, you've got one of each. You could emboss the other side if you've got two. Yes, that's you? right. Yeah, no problem. Oh, you put a little one on the back of the card as well? Yeah. Oh, right. Just reduced it down with the graphics program just to just to give the back. I like to give the back of cards a bit of interest. Well, if you buy a card, there's normally a little image or something, and obviously credits and things on the back. That's it? it. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, we're going to just pretty up the front of this card. <clears throat> I 
a bit with some uh, mirror board. I think you can tell I like mirror board <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay. And at the same time, we're going to use it to suspend the, the dangler so you can't actually see it. I'm going to pop that, pop it in the center. And then pop that over the top. All right. Just tuck that in. Okay, and then just this piece on the top. And a little bow. They've all gone very quiet. They have, haven't they? Yeah, this is really interesting. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what I didn't do. I was going to punch some corners on there, but... Um, pretty sure it doesn't really need doesn't it. doesn't need it, no. I mean, I've, I've got peel-offs yeah. there. Some I could put some corner peel